Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi. I do a lot of these reviews on Built Bar flavors. I'm a huge Built Bar fan. Um, I've been eating them probably the last three years. So I have seen in the comments, some of you are asking about the banana cream pie puffs. Now I actually haven't tried too many puffs. I think I've done maybe two videos or three videos on puffs. So this is the banana cream pie puffs. I will go over the nutrition info as well as do a taste test for you. If you like these type of videos, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribed because I definitely will be doing future flavors. Um, in fact, right after this video, I have another one that I'm going to be reviewing. It's not a Puffs, but it's another flavor of a Built Bar. I will tell you the nutritional information in case you're interested in that. There will be timestamps down below so you can quickly get to something about this bar that you're interested in if you don't wanna sit through it all, but I would really appreciate it if you watched the entire video. Okay, so for the nutrition facts, um, one bar is 40 grams, and um, the serving is one bar, obviously, and the calories are 140. The total fat is 2.5 grams. Um, saturated fat is 1.5. Um, the sodium is 95 milligrams. The carbohydrates, there's 14 grams. There's 7 grams of total sugars, and there's 6 grams of added sugars. Uh, the sugar alcohols is nine grams. Um, usually they tell you the net carbs. Um, I no longer like count net carbs. I'm not keto or really low carb. I do intermittent fasting now, but if you are interested, I mean, you could do the math yourself. So it's 14 carbohydrates minus the six sugar alcohols. Do they even see how much fiber is in here? Yeah, there's no fiber in here. <laughs> I forgot to say that, there's no fiber. So um, 14, six, what is that? Um, how come I cannot do math right now? I think it's eight grams <laughs> of total net carbs. For the protein, there's 17 grams of protein. Sorry if I didn't say that, 17 grams of protein. Um, and then just to let you know some of the ingredients, the first ingredient is premium collagen protein blend, which says it's partially hydrated. I can't even speak right now. Partially hydrolyzed whey protein isolate, collagen peptide. So that's what makes up that premium collagen protein blend. Then it has dark chocolate. And to make the dark chocolate, they have like in parentheses that it's sugar, chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, milk fat, soy lecithin, um, and vanilla. There's glycerin, there's water, there is sugar, um, gelatin, non-fat dry milk, and natural flavors. It may contain milk, soy, and it's manufactured on equipment that processes peanuts and tree nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, be careful with these. I actually like banana cream pie. So I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna like this bar and I have yet to have a Built Bar puff that I didn't like. The puff bars, I feel like they might be more like a treat, even though that is a pretty good amount of protein in this bar. It's it's still considered more like a treat to me, especially because the net carbs is a little bit higher than most of the other bars. Um, again, if you're counting carbs or counting net carbs, then that would be significant for you to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this box. And the packaging is similar to the previous Built Bars that I have opened where it's kind of like a yellow foil looking wrapper. I know on camera it kind of looks like this lime green color, but it's not, it's gold yellow. By the way, Built Bars are gluten free, so that's great. So if some of you can't have gluten. So part of these tests, what I like to do is um, open the bar, but then actually cut it in half and show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Built Bars, Almost all of their bars have this dark chocolate coating. They do make a couple of bars that have a white chocolate, which actually I prefer the white chocolate and I don't know why they don't have more flavors released in the white chocolate. Um, it, it tends to um, be dark chocolate that most of the bars are made out of. The puffs have been a little bit different. This is actually the first puff that I've tried that's in a dark chocolate because usually it is a white chocolate or like um, a strawberry, chocolate or something on the outside so it's very light in color um, but this one is dark chocolate so here we go um, I would say it's probably about a three and a half inch 
long bar. So this way it's about three and a half inches. It's about one inch thick. It's the back of the bar. All right, so let's go ahead and cut it open. Um, and if you're also new to puffs, puffs always have like a marshmallow texture. Um, I can't think of the name of the candies right now, but it's like the marshmallow with the hard chocolate on the outside. I cannot think of it at all right now, but that's what these remind me of. Um, if you don't like marshmallows, you probably are not gonna like any of the flavors of puffs because the texture is very much like a marshmallow. Okay, so here it is, banana cream pie. Okay, first bite. I have a feeling this is gonna make a mess. So I'm gonna just bring my little cutting board over here. So the bar has, again, that marshmallow-like that marshmallow -like texture, so it is very chewy. I will tell you this. Recently, I ordered the Cherry Barcia Built Bar, which is like the regular Built Bar, protein bars that they have, and I noticed that that texture is a lot more chewy almost to the point of being difficult to swallow. Like, it was getting stuck in my teeth, like the taffy mixture, or whatever, was just getting stuck in my teeth. And I don't recall that from the very first time I ordered the Cherry Barcia. I haven't ordered it in about two years, but you know, I ran out and then Built Bar sent me a notification that I was about to lose my like credit. Cause basically when um, you guys do use the referral link that I have down below, um, it gives me like points to earn free boxes. So basically they were telling me like, hey, you're gonna lose out on your points if you don't cash it in by the end of December. So I had to like purchase a box, um, which was not this one. So when I tried that Cherry Barcia, I've been eating it for the last two weeks and I've noticed that, that the texture is very chewy where it's getting stuck in my teeth. Like I'm eating it on my lunch hour because I'm doing intermittent fasting. So it's like my lunch and I have to like go and excuse myself to go in the bathroom to like pick out the chewiness that's stuck in my teeth. Like um, the texture is, is just very different. I mean, there was always been like a chewy texture to the Built Bars, but this is kind of excessive and I'm finding that I'm not actually enjoying it. The flavor is great. I love the flavor, but I just don't like the fact that I have to go and excuse myself to like get the food off of my teeth. If someone was having any kind of swallowing issues, I feel like that could be a choking hazard. I would just be careful with the Cherry Barcia. Something that formula has changed to me where it just feels too chewy. Anyways, so back to this. Um, I do like this. Um, if I were to rate this bar, which I do rate all the built bars and the built puffs, um, I would probably give it a four out of five. Um, it's not very strong in the banana, like imitation banana flavor. It does have a pretty light banana flavor. Um, I can't even say that it quite tastes like banana cream pie. Um, it, it's pretty close to it, I guess, but I wouldn't... I don't know, like I, I feel like it could have been a little bit stronger in the banana cream flavoring to make it a banana cream pie flavor. The dark chocolate is, you know, it's not too bitter, which dark chocolate can be pretty bitter. It's not, it's not really bitter. Um, definitely the sweetness of that banana cream flavor kind of balances out any would-be bitterness. Um, so I feel like it's a good combination. I probably would have preferred if they made it a white chocolate, I don't know. I just feel like they need to come out with more bars that have the white chocolate. So as a like evening treat or something, yeah, this would be a great bar. Uh, this is not something that I would probably eat on my lunch hour. Um, I mean, I probably will now that I purchased the box, but it's not something that I would in the future purchase as a protein bar to eat on my lunch hour because there's other bars that I would rather eat instead, but it does have a very good flavor. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, um, as I am releasing more videos and I do have another new Built Bar flavor I'll be trying out here very soon. Um, I also have some videos upcoming of me trying on some new leggings. Um, I just did a video on Buff Bunny and I have just ordered some leggings by Petula that I'm going to be trying out. 
So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.